So Android 12 was already introduced and we know every new feature from it. And of course, like every operating system nowadays, it's focused on privacy. And we have that new privacy dashboard, which is very useful and secure for our personal details, which we want to share and which we don't want. So this will show you exactly when and which app is using your hardware like camera, microphone, built-in GPS and everything that one application can use from a phone. Of course Android 12 is still not ready for every device except Pixels, Xiaomi Mi 11 is waiting, Samsung S21 is waiting and probably Huawei P40 Pro will never get it. But now we can test that privacy dashboard feature for every Android phone. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's jump in. Alright, this is P40 Pro. We are using here this simple application from a guy, Rushikesh Came War. I'm not sure I spell it correctly. Sorry mate if I'm not, but we need to thank to that guy, Rushikesh Came War. He created an application privacy dashboard, which is exact copy of Android 12 privacy dashboard. Of course guys, all the links will be in video description, so always check for there. What we need to do is just to install that application and test it. Let's install it. So let's just open it. What's new in 1.5? That's the new features coming here. Of course, we need to give that application permissions, allow access to the location, and also we need to give access to accessibility settings app requires accessibility permission to lock camera and microphone usage this is done to avoid having access to camera and microphone for privacy all right open settings of course this accessibility settings will be different for every device but it's almost the same so just scroll down find the application here it's off just enable it all right and that's it we are ready here is now the application we can just update the lock now we just installed it that's why we don't have a lock all right let's go to our home screen and start testing it let's open the camera and you can see the camera shortcut is here which means the camera is now using camera which is obvious and let's record a video you can see now the microphone also appears here. So we are now using camera and microphone. This is probably the best feature which is coming with Android 12, but we have it now even on Android 10. All right, let's test something else. For example, maps. And you can see now the location is used. Here is the Mark 4 location. All right, let's test the microphone just Hold here to record an audio and you can see here up on the right corner we are using now microphone so application is perfectly working it shows every time which application is using your hardware like microphone like camera like GPS all right let's open again maps and you can see it's here again let's go to application now here it is privacy dashboard and you can see it's already updated so location let's tap on it maps is using twice my location now i just started you can see a time is here maps if you tap on the application of course you can go inside that and of course you can change an application permissions for maps which is very useful if you don't want maps to use your location you can just tap here manage permissions and disable location for maps let's check camera camera is using the camera it's top now not working it's shown here also a microphone used by two apps today let's check it telegram is used microphone camera is used microphone which is exactly what it was manage permissions and you can manage your permissions here if you tap on telegram it show you exact time when it's used microphone and if you tap manage permissions you can manage telegram permissions for microphone camera storage and so on and you can see obviously it's working exactly as android 12 
privacy dashboard feature. From here, from that button, you can just update the logs. And also we have a team here. We have a system default, which is dark now. We have a light team. You can see how it's look like. You, you have a dark team and of course system default. What else we have here? App settings, if you tap here, privacy indicator, that was the same indicator which is shown here like a green camera, microphone, indicator customization. If you tap here, you can see now it's looking like this. Of course, you can resize it. You can make it smaller if it's too big and you can make it transparent. And here it's still better, but if you enable it, you can minimize the time. When enable, if permission is used for more than a selected minimized time, indicator will be minimized to small dot because if you are using a camera and record a video and this big icon here will just bother you, you and after some time it will just go like a small dot on the first two rows, you can change the position of these icons. Now it's top right course we can make it top left to show here but we have a notch here on our device and probably this is not the best position so top right for me is perfect and of course we have a type now it's permission icons but we can make it like iPhones color dots and you have a different color dots for every hardware like a microphone camera and so on so hide notification from here because you can see now we have that privacy dashboard is running in the background if you disable that no more notifications but i suggest you to be enabled because that will ensure you this application is working and here you can exclude apps if you tap here you can exclude from indicator notification and locks and also you can now select here the apps which you want to be excluded from Privacy Dashboard Manager. And that's almost everything for this application. You can see very simple and very useful application. So everything is here. How much microphones, cameras and locations are used for past 24 hours, which are using your location. Here a Telegram is using my location, maps, I even don't know that Telegram was using my location. The best thing about this application is that it will work on every Android device. Here is my Xiaomi device and let's tap twice and you can see now because device is trying to face unlock you can see camera is using here. Here you can see it just worked perfectly on every Android device and here on Samsung device it's also perfectly working showing everything you need so guys at the end if you are not using android 12 and you want that privacy dashboard feature this is the application that you need privacy dashboard on google play if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day